Hi, welcome. So today we're going to paint the lion. Okay, and we're going to do it step by step together. So if you've never painted before, I'm very excited for you because you're going to experience you're gonna like watch how it's done, but watching me won't teach you anything. Once you do it yourself, you'll be like, oh, this is how they're able to do that. Because once you do it yourself, then you understand, right? When the teacher shows you math, you're not learning math. When you learn math is when you do it yourself. That's the human brain, right? And this is what I emotionally expect of you. At first, you're gonna be really frustrated and angry and, and confused. And then you'll understand it and then it'll get easy and boring. So expect those three stages, okay? You're like, oh, this is coming out so ugly. And then, oh, I get it. And it just changes just like that as soon as you understand it. So mine, I had to redraw in Sharpie because pencil doesn't show up on camera, right? But we're gonna paint the background first. So if we paint the background, his nose, right, this, this paint goes right on top of the background. If I get a little bit on my lion, I am painting these little edges, you know, right back on top of the outline. So you guys ready? So we're going to do the background first. So we need our biggest paintbrush. And, she, and this is the smooth side, right? The side of it is smooth. The tip of it is very sharp. So if you are, you're going to try to blend anything, it's better to hold your paintbrush like a magic wand and use the side of the paintbrush. It's softer and it makes a more interesting texture. Straight ahead makes this, it doesn't, it's just, you know, but this is a softer way. Same as this little brush, right? When I'm trying to blend something, I use the side of the paintbrush. The, this, this is sharp and it kind of scratches the paint back off. So we're going to outline our, our, we're going to do half of our lion background first, right? So we're going to do the back half first because we're learning. So nobody's going to look at this and we're going to paint over it with a mane. So good way of learning, but we're going to just cut it in half like there and then there. And this is not real. This zigzaggy line, it's not real. It represents hair, but you could just paint right over it. It doesn't matter. Because look at what, how we actually put hair. We'll touch his head and go flick and flick. And the hair goes on top of the background. But we have to put the background first. So we're not literally outlining these zigzags. They just represent, you know, this is about where you stop for the red. Okay? So we're going to need red and black. And the first thing we're going to, uh, when we paint, there's shape, color, and texture, right? Well, the shape already drew it, so whatever. But the texture is, if you want it smooth, right? Then the, the main would be big, long stripes. That's a texture. The background is a scribbly texture, right? So all the texture matters. And then we're also going to learn color, dark, medium, light, right? So it's red paint. We're going to paint it all red. Then we're going to add black. And where is it most black along the edge, right? Because we drop off our black there. Then we kind of scribble it and make blackish red. But then I go a with just what's left in my paintbrush, I go another row in and it, now it's making like a dirty little red. And then I do another row closer to the line. It's even, it's like mist like that. But running out of paint is how you do it. So like, oh, I need to get more paint. No. Black is a thousand times more more powerful. It will cover up red really easy. So once you get just a little bit in your paintbrush and she becomes like powder, that's how you get this cool effect. Okay? So we need, we're going to open our red and our black. Now we finally get to paint and you don't have to listen to me talk anymore. Remember, are you learning when I'm talking? Hmm. When are you actually learning? When you're doing. Okay? So we're going to outline our lion and we could just start like oh on the back sorry I want to do the back first but these are fake lines right <laughs> so I'm gonna this is how you outline I go like this and I go I go smash I smash my paintbrush and it opens really big like this bleh, right and then I once I have a big open paintbrush I smash my paintbrush oh can you move that camera that you moved so I can see the students paint I can't see their canvases anymore Go ahead and tilt that. Uh, I think you just went and moved the camera, but now I can't watch them paint. Oh, wait. I think you just moved the camera. 
can somebody put the camera back the way it was so I can see? I need it tilted down so I can watch them paint. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go like this and go smash. And then our paintbrush goes boop. And then we stare at one hair. And that one hair outlines something. And remember, we don't really care about these zigzags. They're fake. So I'm going to stab my red paint. Stab. Like that. And get a huge glob. Right? But... Once I have a lot, that's how I get my smooth edge. So watch this. Everybody pause and look up. So I'm going to go, so we just need the outline, right? So it's the half, right? I'm going to do this back half. But I go smash. And once I smash my paintbrush, I can sneak up and go. But the thicker the paint, this, oh, it's already dry. Get another step. And go smooshy, smashy, smooshy, smashy, fakey, fakey. But now I can show you, watch. Now I get my red, everybody pause and look up. I'm gonna go smash and watch me ride that per I'm not gonna scribble, that's crayons and markers, colored pencils. This is thick, smooth paint. And how do I get a smooth line? I just push my paintbrush and a goober of paint comes out. And that's how you get a, the more paint on your paintbrush, the smoother the, oh, and then I ran out, right? So now you guys do it, go. And I just outlined it, right? And then you're like, I don't understand anything you just said. Perfect, because me talking shows you nothing. You're like, what? So once you start doing it, like, oh, way more paint is way better. It's thicker, smoother. Um, you only have to do one swipe and it's done. So you just literally go like this. Uh, stab, start painting, stab, paint, stab. As soon as it turns dry and invisible, more paint. Like that, like that. We're not scared of the paint, we just get paint. And then, then when you do this one line, try that trick where I get a whole bunch of paint. I'm gonna close the door. My doggy came in. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go smash. Remember that? I was like, oh, let's try for a smooth. So it's a lot of paint on my paintbrush, and I go smash, and I push, and I don't wiggle. I just push like a bulldozer, pushing the sand, and then kind of a pile of sand squishes out the side, and it's perfectly smooth until I run out of paint, and then I have to do it again. Who got that nice smooth edge? Right? And like, what? I did it. I don't know. Okay, now let's get the whole backside sopping wet with red. And it doesn't matter the texture, because what are we gonna do to the red after we do it? We're gonna we're gonna ruin it anyway with this black business, right? And we're gonna put this little smoke background, right? And make dark, medium, and light black. Red blackish red. Look at right here. So just get it wet with red. Okay, so we just like, oh, it needs to be a certain way. No, it doesn't. Stab your red. Stab. And you get a glob, a disgusting amount. And I like to use the side of my paintbrush. Soft, right? And it's going, and we're racing against time. As soon as we start putting the paint on there thin, what's the air doing? Stealing the water out of the paint and making it dry and sticky. So we're gonna rush, right? You're like, who cares how the red looks? We touch it again with black anyway. So I just stab my red and I go <laughs> Oh, it's already drying. Oh wait, hurry, hurry, hurry. No, 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 don't care, don't care, nobody cares, nobody cares because I'm not decorating, I'm not doing any shadow. So I just stab my red and go Oh, look how dry. That's, that's gonna, look how the white when it peeks through looks almost pink. Put it a little thicker so it's red, red, red. Right? I'm gonna get some red and I'm gonna make it red. I almost get a skip of paint and then I smush it around. Smushy, smashy, smushy, smashy. This is a big space. I've had to stop and get paint like three times. Okay, now it's, now it's more buttery, more, you know, more 
Sorry to interrupt, but one of our other classes just got locked on, so they're barely... Okay, like that's all right. They can catch up real fast. Just get red paint, outline, and fill it in. It's Thank super you. easy. We just barely started. So we just get lots of red paint and we just do an outline and it's a fake outline, right? Not real hair. Because how do we actually make the hair? It goes on top of the background with a little flick, right? So like, oh, those zigzags don't actually matter, do they? No, it's just fake. Just so it looked like a line when you got it out of the box, that's all. And then I get a huge amount of red. Stab! and go smushy, 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 smushy. And it doesn't matter the texture right now because we're gonna add black and make this smoky, smoky business. So, oh, and get it near the edge. Look at that white, ed no, get, get it. Get, I don't wanna look at that. Get the edges, all right. Mm, mm. Look at, that's not good, I'm gonna get it. All right. And um, is it Mary's room then? Because if I can see, watch them paint and have the camera behind the students, a lot easier for me to follow, to see what you're doing if, I, if the camera's behind the students. If it's the front of the students, all I see is their cardboard. Is there any way you could get the cam put the uh, laptop behind them instead? Okay, now we're ready to put the black. So everybody pause, even if you're not done with the red, everybody pause. I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to get the... the um, the black, but I only get one poke of black. Who's more powerful, black or red? Who has more pigment in their gel? Black. So I'm just going to get some black, and I just go poke, right? And I'm just going to drop it off, and it's like a little a little bit, a little some. And I'm just going to wipe it off like a, like a seven down the side, and then I ran out. So then I get another little poke, poke, just some, just some. Right? And I just wipe it off like an L down the bottom. Whoop. And we're just dropping off the black. Just drop it off and then we'll play with it. But just get it off your paintbrush like it's a boogie and you want it off your paintbrush. Get off my paintbrush. You don't have to rub it in. Just scribbly, scribbly. Just wipe, wipe. Go ahead and do that. Put the black on there. Remember, you should be chasing me and be, I'm one step ahead of you. I'm watching the clock the whole time and the background should be the least easiest thing that we do. And um, in the other classroom, Miss A's classroom, I can watch them paint because the, the camera is behind them. And, and Mary's classroom, I can't see uh, them paint. So I don't know if I'm going too fast. I can't adjust my instruction. Okay, if you could put the camera behind the students. We can't. It's a projector. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's all right. They'll just have to catch up because our paint is drying. So paint the red as fast as you can. It is unimportant. We, put, we haven't even done the line. We're just doing this back half that we put the main on anyway. Okay, now we're going to get our paintbrush with the black. And we're going to make everybody pause and look up. So you already put the black, right? And now everybody watch. Even if you're busy doing something else, watch me do this because I can only show it once. So everybody pause. So stop painting and look up. Everybody stop painting and look up. Stop painting, please. Thank you. Stop painting. Okay, now I'm going to scribble like this and turn this texture and not Z, 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 Z. I'm like really scribbly and turn this into the blackish red. And I'm just, it's only about two fingers big. And I just make like a frame and I'm making blackish red, blackish red, blackish red, blackish red. Like that. And then what's in my paintbrush? Blackish red. So do that real quick, fast, fast, fast. Remember, your red is drying. Yeah, we're doing it while the red is wet.
And it's a weird texture. Go for weird. Don't go zigzag, zigzag, zig. No. Big, little, small, little, big, little, big, big, little, small, little, big, 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 small, small, big, 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 small, 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 big, 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 like that. So that it's an unrecognizable pattern. Otherwise, it looks like a bunch of Z's. The pattern's more interesting. And remember, we only get black one time, right? One, we make the edge. Now it's in my paintbrush. The, the smoky black. So now I'm going to touch the very edge of this black, and I'm going to try to make medium. So if this is my darkest, dark, medium, light. To get 3D, I need dark, medium, light, right? So this is my dark. Now what's in my paintbrush is just a little bit of a little soft blackish red. And I'm going to touch the very edge of what I already made and try to pull it into my painting one more row and make a medium row. So I just like, oh, oh, I'm just, oh, it's still two fingers, but I'm like, oh, it's much lighter. And I'm just doing a weird scribbly texture. And I don't have to go deep. I like the dark edge. I'm just trying to grab the very edge of this black and make medium like that. I have a dark part. Uh-oh, let me rough it up a little. It looks a little perfect. Okay, so I want a darkish, darkest edge. That's why I didn't want Z's because you know it's just going to look like Z, 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 Z. So I have a dark row, and now I have a medium just because I used a dirty paintbrush. So it becomes like smoke, like thin, right? Now, what's left in my paintbrush? Almost nothing. I'm going to touch the edge of the medium and try to make like invisible black. Just barely get the red a little dirty. Like, oh, 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 look it. I'm just dropping off a little, a little dirty dirt inside of my black. And I don't want to get more black. I just, my, there's black inside that paintbrush. I just have to scrub hard. And look at, oh, now it's like a dirty, a dirty little uh, red. And it's like all... It's like, like smoke. So how many color values are we always rooting for for 3D? Three. Red is my main color, right? So red must be medium. Well, once I add black, black is the darkest. Then blackish red. So if red next to the lion must, when there's almost no black in it, must be my lightest color. Red by herself must be light. But I don't like red completely by herself. It looks a little candy apple red. So I just put, I just make sure a little dark, dark, just a little smear. Look at how thin this is. And I go like this. On the white, you're like, oh, it's literally like dry. I know. But I just can't put it on the red. So she, ugh, like that. And then look at that interesting texture. Right? And then what happens if you keep touching it? Won't it just become black? Because we only got black one time. Because who's more powerful, black or red? Black by a million, right? So we just get that one little edge of black. We make a black little scribbly edge. Then just what was left on our paintbrush, we grab the edge of that black. We can only, like, you know, we just pull on the edge. This is fine. So I just go, oh, I just want to like pull on this little piece of paint and pull it deeper inside there. And then, and then I get a little snook. But if I keep doing it and I keep visiting the side of the painting, I keep picking up more black. I am trying to run out of paint. I don't go back and visit the edge where black is. They'll get way too much black on my paintbrush. Running out of paint is really how you fade, highlight, shadow, right you fit you it's called wet on wet painting and you're letting the color disappear inside another or that base color eats up your new color like that okay miss mary's room can you give me thumbs up if you caught up with me remember push up your sleeves because this is real paint and wear your apron Okay, go faster. You should have the red already done and the black, right? And you just make a disappeary fuzzy black. And then look at my original. But you're putting too much black. You need to, I'm very black, not very black, running out of black, invisible black, mist. 
right? So just what's left on your paintbrush, you start going, oh, you can't go and get more black because black dominates red by a million. So I can only scribble with what I have on there, right? I just made a uh, red a little, a little fuzzy. Okay, who's ready to do the other side? Good thing we learned on that side, right? Because is anyone going to look at the back of the, uh, the lion? No, right? So we need to squeeze the black out because so we can, you know, do more pure red. But I'm just going to get my paper towel, one paper towel, and I put my paintbrush in there and I fold it over. And then I squeeze the paint out really hard. Like that. And then a boogie comes out. And I can do it one more time. Because it still has black in it. But I would like to start uh, the outline of the, on the other side of the line, the lion's face, which is less black, right? So I just clean my paintbrush. And I do this class with uh, kindergartners, Schwer. So do they like, do they have an internal monster that's always telling them they're doing it wrong and their peers can see what they're doing and are criticizing them right now? No. Paint like a kindergartner. You know when this comes out ugly, what do you do with it? Throw in the garbage. Care less. Let it go. Just like, this is just for fun. I don't care. I don't care. Right? And then you'll relax. Oh, yeah. And what are the three emotional steps? Frustrated and confused. Understanding. And then it's easy and boring. Right? Okay. Now let's do this side. Uh-oh. We have to worry about uh, the lion's face. Right? So I'm going to stab my red stab. And if you weren't here for the beginning, everybody pause and look up. Mostly the, the class that started late. Watch this. So I get a glob of paint on red paint. Stab! A glob of paint on there. The more paint on your paintbrush, the smoother it will be. So everybody pause and look up. So stop painting. Stop what you're doing and watch what I'm doing. Ready? So I'm going to show you how to outline. So I go smash. My paintbrush opens, right? But I'm only going to stare at that one hair that's going to touch my pencil. So now I'm sneaking up, sneaking up, sneaking up. Oh, touch it. Now I can push. Do not pick up your paintbrush. Do not scribble. We want it perfectly straight. And it comes out like a bead of paint. Paint. -a. But look at, I don't care what the top looks like. That's what the paintbrush is doing. I don't care. When I open my paintbrush and go smash, I stare at one hair. One hair is going to do that outline in red. Smooch, smooch. Look at that boogie of paint right there. I'm going to get it off. <laughs> okay. Now you do it. And then until you experience outlining with paint, it does not make sense. So you have to literally do it and go, oh, a little bit of paint. What will I do? Scribbly, script. No, now you have a furry nose with bumps all. No, we want it smooth. So we go smash. And I let one hair of the paintbrush push the paint. You know how a bulldozer uh, goes like this? A bulldozer pushes the sand. And then on either side, there'd be a pile of sand. That's what we're doing. We're pushing the paint. And then that one edge is perfectly straight. Okay, let's go up and over her ear too. But I go like this and I go, I go, sh smash. And I go, oh, one hair is touched. Not the whole paintbrush, just one hair. Whoop. And that's fake right there, right? That's not real hair. Because we're going to paint over that. And, you should, and everybody's, um, Miss Mary's rooms don't have chairs, so they're going to stand. Two hours is a long time to stand. I don't want you to get weary. Well, we they have chairs. Oh. Stand because they're concentrating on it. Oh, okay. Two hours is a long time. That's a perfect outline. Okay, now, oh, along the nose and the mouth and the chin, right? So I, and then... Who noticed more paint is smoother? And as soon as you run out of paint, it's all fuzzy. So you stab your paint and get more. Stab! Okay, bleep! And I don't want to use all my red on my background, because I'm going to put some in my, my mane of my, my lion. But I'm going to go, okay, so I'm not, I'm near the nose, but not touching. And I go like this, and I go, smash! Okay, now I'm going to sneak up. Sneak, 
sneak, sneak, sneak. Okay, one hair is touching my nose. And oh, one hair, oh, lip. Oh, one, I'm staring at one hair. The whole paintbrush, I don't care. I just need, I just push, push. Look at, I haven't run out of paint yet. Oh, I just went over the line. Ah. Oh. And then what about this bottom hair right here? Our paintbrush goes like this on the man and goes, so let's just make a fake line where there, you know, this is fake. So I just kind of go, all right, I'm, you know, I'm gonna paint over it when I put my mane, but la, 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 okay. Fake hairline, okay. Look at that, I was like, I was all worried about the line, but we're gonna paint all it, we're gonna paint that. Oh, then I shouldn't have done that so you can keep track of it. I'll just wipe it off. How about like this? At an angle? Because I want I want your mane to come to the bottom. You see this line? If we cover it up, we might lose it. So, because it goes, and then it's like an S. It's right behind the black one. It goes <gasps> towards the chin and then straight like that. And then I, I wouldn't want you to like forget where that line is. Okay, now, who got a smooth line? Did you prove it to yourself? Don't prove it to me, right? You're like, oh, now from this day forward, I know how to make a, a smooth line. And you know what else it is? We do not pick up our paintbrush. I see people going dash, dash, dash. That's for crayons, markers, and colored pencils because only a scratch of color comes out at a time, right? So you have to go scribble, 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 scribble. No, it paint. It's thick like a like um a, a frosting or peanut butter. She just goes smash and push thick, thick. Okay. Now and also, what did we do? We made a a, a one finger thick a force field to protect our lion. Okay, so uh, now when I go to fill in the whole front of the line with red, I uh, because you outlined it, your brain won't let you cross over the line because of all the years of doing coloring books. So I stab my red and get a disgusting, what? She's serious? Get this much red? Yeah, we smear it around. We kind of pick it up and drop it off all over. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> oh, slow down when I'm near the edge. Blah, 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 blah. And does it matter the texture of the red? No, because we go back and ruin it once we put the black on there. And we could put less black if you put too much last time. We could put a titch more black if you didn't put enough last time. We never get mad. We just adjust and do better. And then once we put the paint on thin like this, what starts happening immediately? It starts to dry. So then we're racing the clock because we're like, ah, if it's not wet, the black won't disappear and, and make a new color, right? And make that blackish red. So you're like, oh, as soon as I start spreading it thin, I know it starts to dry out. So now I just get a huge amount of paint and go right, spread it around. Oh, and I warned you I'm animated high energy. So I'm a cartoon. Okay, and I just go and sound effects are to make it like play. So we don't take ourselves all serious. Like, oh my god, this has to come out so good because I'm gonna use this to get into college. Oh really? Maybe understanding the concepts of 3D, dark, medium, light, and texture, that would get you into college. Okay, now I, I go hunting for the white parts because I don't want the like the edge. Look at the ugly. Get out of here, like a boy. I don't want to see this ugly ratty edge. I'm gonna fix it. And I didn't care about the texture. How come? Because I go back and then well, how much paint are you getting when you paint? A huge amount and then smear it around. Don't be delicate. We'll be here all day. Okay, now we need to make uh, uh, the shadow, right? 3D. So how many color values are we rooting for? Three, right? The dark edge, very black, and then we never visit the black edge again, so she stays the blackest. Then medium is when we just grab the edge 
of that black and pull her deeper into the painting, make medium. And then it'll be just a tiny bit and you cannot get more black. Go, oh, I'm running out of black. Let me get more. Ruined. Black is too dominant and we'll make the, all of the red black. Okay? It's like, no, wait, 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 wait. Ah! It's too late. Wait, black, 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 black. She just has the most pigment of all the colors. Okay? Now I'm going to get my black. So I just, and how much black? Just a poke. Right? So I just get some. Oh, what if you get paint on the easel? The easel does not care. Paint the easel. Nope. Right. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get some, oh, that's red. What am I doing? I need black. So I just touch it like, poke, right? I just go poke. I don't do a hard stab because I would like to, I can always add a little bit more black, but I can't get less. So I'm a little more conservative. I just go some. And then we're going to drop it off like a, a backward seven across the top and wee down the side. And then I ran out. Should I paint over that? No. I just get more black, black. And I go wee down the side and across the bottom. Swipe. Just because I'm going to turn that into my, into my black frame. But who thinks you understand it a little bit more than when we did it in the back? So what? Frustration, confused, too much black, not enough black, scrib, what? Now we understand it a little bit more, and now we'll do it, and we'll be like, oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. So you ready? You want to watch me do it? Oh, and the two worlds right up here at the top and the bottom, we're just going to let them touch. It's the same color. It doesn't hurt nothing. Okay. So it's only like two fingers big of a frame, and I just make it out of scribblies, but not a zigzag. They're not Z's. So I kind of try to, on purpose, trick myself. I go big, little, little, big, little, big, little, big, 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 and fall off the edge, right? Little on the bottom. Like fake cursive. Okay, and then get that black to fall off the edge. I don't want to see none of that red off the edge. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, get it. Push that black off the edge. There, okay. Okay, that's our black. The darkest, right? So dark, medium, light. That is my darkest. Okay, so just what's left in my paintbrush, some medium brick. And then I can use the bottom of this row and scratch it into my painting another row in, right? And then I should be almost completely out of black by the time I do the really misty part near his face. So you want to watch me do it? So I'm just going to grab the bottom of this and squishy, squibbly it in. Oh, look at it. It's misty. Oh, look at it. Making circles. It's not a good pattern. Okay, big little, small little, oh, we'll slow down. Here's the nose. And I'm, I'm not touching the very edge. I want that black. But I'm just grabbing the front of it and scratching it in a little deeper. That's the language that I'm writing. That's why I make that sound. I'm speaking the language of the scribbles. Go back and touch it. My medium. And is it interesting texture or is it all one ziggy, 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 ziggy? Math people will tend to do zigzags all in a nice, perfect row. They can't help it because that they want things organized. Okay, what's left in my paintbrush now? A misty, misty, invisible. So I need to run out of black paint. So I'm just dropping off like invisible. So the closer I get to the My Lion, it's just red. Okay, so I go, oh. And slow down when you get near your lion, right? And I just go, blah, 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 slow down. Oh, look at I'm just making the red a little bit, little bit, little bit smoky. Oh, oh la, 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 by her face. La, 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 la. But I can't go back to the edge and get more black. I'm trying to run out of black. If I can get more, then it'll be darker and darker and just be one medium color. Medium? That's not 3D. We want dark areas, medium areas, and light areas. 
And look at your interesting texture. So you just learned how to shed out. Giving the paint permission to run out is a dark side, then I cut off half of that and it makes a medium, and then I get half of that and it makes it light red. You're like, what? Well, guess what? That is the secret of this entire painting. Giving the paint permission to become blurry and invisibly. And look at what a big giant paintbrush it is when you push hard. <laughs> and then you do it soft and suddenly she becomes tiny. See? You little, little, little. So if I do it soft, look how little my paintbrush gets. I could do it little, little, little by my face. And she just closes on her. She's called a round. This is a really, these two are really expensive paintbrushes I gave you in this painting. They're like $8 a piece. If you wash these really good and get all of the plastic out or acrylic out, you know, and then pinch it really good with a paper towel until no more paint comes out. These are called rounds. They're the most expensive paintbrush. When you smash them, the top is round. And this is the one that makes flowers and leaves and all that stuff. And then you'll have a big one and a small one. And by the time we do all these paintings, you'll have a collection of paintbrushes if you don't throw them away. And then they have an, um, an acrylic handle. So if you wanted to soak them in water because you couldn't get to them and clean them right away, the wood would dissolve in the water. Not these. They're very nice. Who got 3D? Who got a dark area, a medium area, and a light area? That's right. And then is everybody's unique? Did everybody get a different amount of, of red, a different amount of black? Everybody's texture is slightly different. It's how it should be, right? So it's uh, where the concept is 3D, dark, medium, light, right? And to understand that if I keep mixing, all I get is medium and it's one color. Medium is boring. I would like 3D. So who's ready to do the next part? Remember, the misty, misty part goes all the way up close to, close, close to invisible paintbrush, right? Just checking. Okay, because now we're going to make hair. We need to clean our paint. There's red all over the paintbrush. Disgusting. So we have to clean it off. So we have to lick it. No, lick it. You get a paper towel and squeeze on the and squeeze the paint out really hard. And then a big boogie of paint is in there. I could do it again. I fold over my paper towel and give it a squeeze and do it. And then look it. See? Uh-oh. Look what it did to my paintbrush though. It made it flat. Okay, let me make it round again. I'm going to fix it with my fingers. Okay, there. She's supposed to be around, which means she's pointy. When I smashed it, I made it all flat like that. You guys ready to make hair? Because you guys are just staring at me. I like your backgrounds. Everybody's is different. Okay. Okay, now we're going to make hair. So it kind of looks like this, right? There's my original. And you're like, oh yeah, I could do that. There's a trick, okay? You can only flick away. Up, out, out, out. And we'll do it together to get this to go in the right direction, right? But then, is it, and this is the caramel color. Where'd she go? Oh, right? It's just this light brown color. It's like basically lion color, right? It's all over the plant, right? And then, but is it just caramel color? No. We're going to get a teeny bit of the other colors and put a teeny tiny streak in the caramel and decorate it but it what happens who noticed what happens when you touch your your paints too much doesn't it just become medium so if i want a teeny bit of of shadow in my hair and i get a whole what if i keep touching it what color will it be then just brown so i'm trying to be delicate when i add a new color okay we'll make the frame out of caramel and then we'll decorate Okay, oh, and we're hiding, you know this landing spot right here? We're hiding it, we will touch the ear and stuff, but we'll paint the ear on top and hide all of our oopsies. We're gonna paint the ear on top of the hair, okay? 
So find your uh, caramel color and open that. And then can I show you the other colors? Watch this. Ew, ew, I just put my thumb in the paint gross. Okay, and then this one's brown. Obviously, we use very little of this. I don't know why I gave you so much, but whatever. You have it for later. Okay, so I open my brown. And then this one, she's rusty red. Do you see her compared to red? She's this cool rusty red color. I'll show you on, the, on her, on the painting. The rusty red color. Compa there's the red stripe, right? And then here's that cool rusty red color. Very cool. It's definitely the color of a lion's mane. So I opened that one. Okay, let me show you about um, making hair. So I'm going to get the caramel color, right? And I just get a little book. And I'm just going to use the tip of my paintbrush. So am I going to push very hard? Nope. But watch, everybody pause and look up. I'm going to touch her ear and land and then flick. Oh, it's pointy. Flick. Okay, that's a hair, right? You want to see me ruin it? Let me ruin it. Now what do I have? A square. How come? Because landing and pulling down makes it flat again. So the only way to get hair to be pointy is to land and go away. L land and go away. Land and go away. Oh, and there, there's my point. I let go. Okay. So now I'm going to get my caramel color. Caramel. You want to make hair with me? Are you giving me the peace sign? Dab. What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so here's her forehead right here, right? And and I'm going to go behind her ear and right there. And this hair sticks straight up. There's like three hairs that stick straight up, right? Because he's um, bomb like that. So, and I'm going to decorate this. It's not going to stay caramel. So I'm going to touch the back of his ear and land and flick up. Oh, I got a point. A point. It disappeared inside the red. Point. I have to go past into the red, right? And then, and then I get more caramel and I go land and straight up, straight up. Okay. There, those are straight up. Now you do it. Everybody do it. Put the hair. It's caramel. And we're using the point, just the point, just the tip and make it pointy. Okay. Now I'm going to get more caramel and then these ones start leaning backwards. The, there's three that go straight up. And not, you cannot paint down. Okay, everybody pause and look up. Watch, land and push up. Land and push up. You cannot scribble. What will happen if I add, when I add my other colors and I scribble? It'll just be brown. It won't be cute. Okay, now they're gonna start falling backwards. Let me show you. Oh, the first ones go straight up. Then they start pointing towards the corner, like that. Like they're late, okay, all right, let me try. So I get some caramel and I go, all right, land and push back a little, huh? Like they're leaning backwards a little, whoop, oh. Wee, whoop, 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 all right. I'm touching the back of his ear and they go, whoop. Now they're like, they're sticking out flat. Like that. So I went straight up. And then they start, you know, like you comb your hair back. And then, oh, behind the ear, now they can start to point down a little bit. Because, you know, his big giant mane is very heavy. So I start, I go, huh? and I start fall like it's heavy. Point down. Point. I land on his ear. Land, point down. Land, point down. And I'm trying to cover up everything behind his ear. Land, point down. Oh, look at, oh, that red showing. Let me get it. There, I covered it up, right? And then I get more caramel. Behind his ear, woo, point down. Oh, I'm all in the background. I'm all in the background. Look at mine, you're jealous of me right now. And I like them pointy, so I have to let go the last second. Point, flick, 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 flick. Well, is that 3D? I do not love it. That is 1D. It's one color. That is not 3D. <clears throat> so what I, I want to do this. I'll show you on my napkin. 
I'm going to show you. Everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. So here's one flick. Woo! Right? Oh, that's so pretty and very boring and caramel color. But now I'm going to get a tiny, tiny bit of brown. I mean, a, a microscopic speck of brown. Watch. Everybody pause and look up. Watch me do this. I can only show you once. So now I'm going to touch the bottom of it and put a little brown streak up the middle of it. Oh, watch. I could get a speck of white too. But how much white would I, could white erase everything too? You know what? I'm actually going to touch my lid. Oh, I dropped my lid. I had, okay. So I'm going to get my lid because I can get a ton, 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 a bit of white on there. And then I go like this. Watch. Now I'm going to go, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, I got stripes. I mean, I, what happens if I keep touching this? What do I get? Oh my gosh, it just turned brown. That's the most boring thing I ever saw. Okay, so everybody ready? I'm going to get a tiny bit of brown. And watch me. I'm just going to drop it off sometimes. So everybody pause and look up. I'm just going to put one there and 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 one there. Just don't decorate yet. Just drop off your paint. Remember like when we dropped off the black and then decorated? Let's just drop off some pieces of brown and then we'll go back and decorate. Okay, now I'm gonna get some of that rusty brown. Boom, just a little bit and go, all right, a tiny piece for here and maybe one there and there and there and there. But am I gonna rub that in? Nope. Now you do it. I don't see you doing it. You should be the exact same spot I am. So did I smush those in and decorate it yet? No. I just put little blobs. And now I'm, okay. Now I'm going to clean my paintbrush. Okay. It's caramel. And then I put some blobules of the two colors of brown. Rusty brown and brown. And I'm going to clean my paintbrush like this. I'm sorry. I'll hold it up closer. So I made it caramel. Then I put little poops of little brown and then a little bit of the rusty brown. Okay, now watch. Everybody watch. Who's the dominant one in the room that everybody's waiting for? That you're not painting because you're waiting for them to finish. Okay, now I'm going to get more caramel. Watch this. Everybody pause and look up. Don't look away. Okay, I got more caramel. Watch this. Now I'm going to scratch at those and I just go, I just go, watch me. I'm going to flick them, Whoosh. pick it up and drop it off and flick, flick. Oh, should I go back and touch it one more time? No, I should not. Flick it. Whoosh. 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 And I just make stripes out of them. Wicked cool. You know what I wish I had? A tiny bit of white, maybe a microscopic amount of white. Let me see. Dot, 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 dot. I'm just, don't let me do it first, because what if it's ugly? I just want to see. Okay, let me scratch at those little microscopic pieces of white. Okay, it's a cute, but I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. I put a little highlight. I don't know. And I'm right behind the ear. And it's going to dry way darker than that. Okay, paint dries darker than when it's wet. You guys ever opened a can of paint, painted the wall, and it's way darker than what was in the can, right? Okay, now we're gonna, we're all done with this paintbrush for now until we make more main, but now we're gonna paint his uh, face. You guys ready? Did you do your main? And does everyone have their apron on? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm asking the class that started late is uh, your apron is this little plastic square so that you don't get paint on you and you open it really, really big until you have this big circle. And then we tie it so that we drop the paint on our lap. It doesn't hurt nothing. Okay. I saw, I saw some without a shirt. I was like, oh, that's a cute shirt. You don't get paint on it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, now we get to paint his face. But wanna see something weird? This red is already dry because that's how acrylic paint is. We love that it dries fast and we hate that it dries so fast. So how about if we do the ears first? Let's switch paint brushes. 
Ew, this paintbrush got paint on it. But it's this one's littler, but she's the same, right? She's a round and she's clean and she has a smooth side for blending, right? This one, and then the tip for outlining. But I don't want to blend using the tip. It'll scratch all the paint back off and you'll hate it, okay? So we're gonna do the ears, but how did I, how did I get my ears to not be just dark caramel? What color must I have mixed in with it? A little bit of white. So I'm gonna out, do my this ear first, right? Cause she's behind the head. So let's do that one. So I just stab my caramel. How come I stab my paint? I always go like this. I literally am a aggressive painter because it paint should be thick. It's not watercolor. We're trying to copy oil paint. So I stab, and it can only pick up so much paint, but I stab. Okay, teachers in the room, make sure everybody's paying attention and following along. Thank you. So I got a big glob of the, of the caramel, but she could only grab so much paint, right? Because she's a little paintbrush. So I'm going to do her ear. And I just go, oh, well, how do you outline? I forget. Oh, yeah. You land in the ear. Smash. And I sneak up and her ear is in front of the background. So I let it overlap a little bit. And I just go, wee, whoop. And then smushy, smushy, smushy. And then I could do this ear, right? And then, oh, this ear is in front of the hair. Yes. We. It's just a big rainbow. We. And then I could fill it in like that. Now you do it. But are we going to leave it like that? No. Is that 3D? No. And look how see-through. It's called transparent. You could see through that caramel. Do you know what color is opaque? Is white. If we add a little bit of white, it'll help that color from being so see-through. Okay? And it's just rainbows. Right? Rainbow, rainbow. Okay. So now I'm going to get a little bit of white. But how much white versus the caramel color? Maybe just a tiny little speck. So I just go like this? And I'm dirty paintbrush and everything. I don't care. I just get a little pearl on the end. Hello. Little bit. And I'm going to drop it off on the tip of her ear like a little rainbow. And then I'll mush it in and blend it around, you know. But I drop, I always just drop it off first. like, And then go back and play with it. So, okay. So this little baby ear, well, she's on the other side. He, it's on the other side of his head, right? So I just go, hello, a little bit. And then this one gets kind of a whoosh of the white. But I'm not leaving it like that. And here's your first chance to blend and not fleek. I'm going to use the side of my paintbrush. So I have to hold my paintbrush kind of awkward. Look at how awkward I'm holding my paintbrush. I'm bending my wrist and everything. Because I'm trying to get that smoothie side to touch the canvas, not the tip. Don't hold it like a pencil. It'll just scratch the paint. Okay, so I'm gonna blend it in and push it around. Wee, oh, oh, look at it change colors. I'm using the side of my paintbrush and it's very, and I'm doing it way softer because it's a, it's a smoother texture. Uh oh, I got some on his head. So, his head's gonna be caramel color, so that's fine. Okay, what about his other ear? Can I just rainbow that in with the tip of my paintbrush? No. I have to hold, maybe even hold it like a magic wand, like this. So I could just go whoopsie, 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 whoopsie. Hey, did I get 3D? Do I have a bright area of the ear and a dark area of the ear? I do. Should I just leave it like that? Sure. Dark, medium, light. See, we did it. And we're not going to do that black thing in her ear just yet. You know why? Because once black gets in your paintbrush, all your colors look gray. Okay? So now we're going to do her forehead. So look at mine. Have you ever seen a red spot on a, a lion's head like that? No? So I haven't seen a red spot on his face right there or a black on his... No. So what do these represent? It represents a shadow right? It's this dent. It's sh mine is shaped like a triangle, right? And then it's supposed to represent the shadow of the hairline, right? But look at mine. Look at my edges. 
did I did I make it's very red and then I on the edge of it I used my finger and tried to make the edge of it really blurry like we did with the blick right hmm so that will make no sense until we try to do it ourselves okay so let's do her forehead so I just get the caramel and just stab the caramel because the more paint I use, the more slippery it is and the more better texture. So I just go, okay, watch. Let's outline it. Okay, how do you outline again? I smash my paintbrush inside her head. Hello? And then sneak up. And then one hair makes the smooth line. Okay. I got it. I got it. Look at that. It looks weird. But I was following, uh, I, that was my landing spot. That's not really like, the, but I just went and I was staring at that one hair that makes a straight line. Okay. And then, now I can make it all caramely. Oh, let's protect the eye. Right? Let's go down and go, oh, okay, eye. There. There, okay. I just, this is the forehead. I just didn't, so if I outline the eye. I'm less likely to cover up the eye, right? It's a human trick. If you outline something, your brain won't let you go past it. Did you know that? It's a trick. Okay, now let's make her forehead, or hers, his forehead completely thick with caramel color, right? So I go stab with the caramel. I don't care. And use the side of my paintbrush. How come? Because it's way smoother. Oh, oh, and push and shove and push and shove. And I don't really care the texture because I go back with other colors and change the textures. Just get it wet like we did with the red. Just get it wet with the caramel color and then I go back super soft for texture. Okay, smoother, smoother and I'm doing it really soft with the side of my paintbrush. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna put that red Right? And you're like, what are we doing? Well, remember when we, how many color values is 3D? Well, right now, caramel forehead is one color. So boring. So if I put this little red shadow right here, it's going to be very red next to his ear. Right? And I just go, whoa, 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 red. And it turns to reddish caramel. But then I get the edge of it. Like, here's it. Here it is. And I get the edge of it. And I just scribble. And don't touch all of it. You know, I'm just going to scribble the edge and help her be all blurry. Blurry, blurry. Okay. So, how much red? I don't know. I always put too little because I'm a scared. <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm just going to get some red, right? I just, I'm not going to stab it. That would be a ridiculous amount. Maybe just some. Oh. <gasps> mm hmm. Some. And then, I'm just going to like a little rainbow under his ear. A little rainbow. So, I just go, all right, all right, all right. And it just goes, hello, there. I just wipe it off. Get it off my paintbrush. Get off my paintbrush, red gall. Like that. Well, that's just a stripe and uninteresting. So how about if we just change her texture a little bit of a scribbly? Because it's fur. And turn it into, but just keep it little. And it's caramely red. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. change your texture a little bit. Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. Hey, I did mine straight. It's supposed to be a, a curve. F. I give myself an F for not following directions. Okay, now I'm going to click. I can either use a clean paintbrush or my finger to blend the next part. So watch, I'll show you with it. I'll do half of it with a paintbrush and half of it with my finger. I like finger painting personally, but watch. So if I have no paint on my paintbrush, I can't add anything, right? It's just like sitting there. So I just go up to the very bottom of it and I'm gonna try to round it like this, but oh, oh, look how blurry. Oh, oh, it's just like invisible. It's invisible uh, reddish, just the bottom. Or, let me show you with the finger. Oh, that's kind of fun. And I get that blurry, caramely red just on the bottom of it. Moss, moss, all right, all right. And then, so I have dark near the ear, medium when I start running out, and then this fuzzy, invisible red noise. 
Now you do it. Because what are we always trying to accomplish when we're painting? Attempting 3D, dark, medium, lit. And this candy apple red right here will not dry this baby red, this cute red like this. No, it dries darker and way nicer. So that's how paint is. Okay, and now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. Did you make a blur? Did you blur it on the bottom with your finger or a clean paintbrush? Both work. Some like the texture of the paintbrush, you know, because it makes this cool scribbly texture. And some people like the finger. But the, which just washes off with, with water. Okay, now we can do his nose. Okay, and what if we actually pull more red down? Joe? Don't say I'm going too fast. I'm watching the clock. It's four o'clock. We have lots to do. No dilly-dally. Go, go, go. Okay, now we do the nose. And who thinks the nose is gonna be uh, make a lot of sense? I mean, it's pretty simple. So it's basically the part above the eye, along the triangle, this part, right? And it's all caramel. But what do I have on the top of his nose? I let it have some white, and it's also nice contrast next to this dark red. But I, I do it really slow, and I make caramely white. And then whatever's left in my paintbrush, I could do another row. Look. Oh, oh, I'm disappearing the white into the caramel. Who's done that? We have. We have proof. We did it with the black. So like, oh, there's no, you did it with the ears. Okay, you ready? Wait, how do we outline and paint? You already know. I don't, I don't even have to tell you. So I just, I'm going to tell you anyway. So I stab, where's my caramel? Oh, there she is. I stab it. Stab! Why do I get a lot? Makes a very smooth line. Okay, uh-oh. And her nose, his nose, is slightly on top of the red. Right? Because the line's in front of the background, right? So everybody pause and look up. Just so you know, you okay, you have proof for your brain. And I go, smash! I'm not touching it yet. I'm going to sneak up. Sneak up, sneak up. Oh! Okay, the one hair is touching. And then I don't wiggle. I just push my nice, thick, thick paint. Oh, now I got to go on top of the triangle. Do not lose this little tiny hook on his nose, that weird thing. You know why? It's his nostril like we have, right? I made a straight line. Now you do it. You do it. No dilly dally. Go, go, go. Who's the dominant one in the room that you're copying and waiting for them to do it? I hope it's me. There's always one dominant person in the room that everyone's like, I don't know. Are they doing it right? Let me check with them first. They don't know. They've never done it before. Okay. Now I'm going to outline, you know, under next to the eye and then that along that red triangle, who's obviously going to be awesome red like we did to her forehead. Okay. So I go stab. Okay. I want to protect the eye. So I smash near the eye. Smash and sneak up. Whoop. Let one hair touch the eye and go, wee. Okay. It's like a weird shape. Right? And then fill it in with caramel so we can decorate it. I just use side to side scribbles, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. And then after I get it wet with the caramel, then I go back for smoothness. First I get it wet. Great. But then if I do it really soft and smooth, I can be way more smoother. I can evenly distribute that paint. Nice. So sometimes we're scribbling. And then we go back with soft, because texture matters. And isn't this fur on his face really soft, right? So we're trying to demonstrate the texture sometimes with the, soft, with the texture of our paint. Okay. Well, is that 3D? That caramel it is not 3D. It's boring. So I would like it to be brighter. You know, have a highlight, for especially against that dark, dark red background. A little white on the nose will be whoosh, very contrast, right? And I don't even need to clean my paintbrush. I'm going to get a poke of white. So everybody watch. Everybody pause and look up. Watch how much white I get. Hello. Can I get more if I'd like? Yes but I can't get less. So I like to start off with less. I could do it twice. 
If I go, oh, that's not cute enough, I could do it another time, right? Now, where does this white go? I'm gonna put it near the top of his nose, but not outside his nose. So I'm gonna go under it like this, and be like, just wipe it off like a white boogie. Get it off your paintbrush. Oh, I, I think I, look, I made it all the way to the bottom of my white. I think that was just the right amount for me. I think. Right? I won't know till I start rubbing it in. Oh, I just got paint on my face. <laughs> I can feel it. But that's that's just sitting there like a white string. So how do I blend it in? I'm going to use the side of my, not the tip of my paintbrush. It makes little stripes. No. I use the side of my paintbrush and go scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. And just don't try to get to the top by the red yet. Just make your new color. Like, like that, oh, there's the baby baby caramel color, right? But now that I rubbed it in, what's in my paintbrush? Now, with what's in my paintbrush, I can feel more safe to go closer to the red and go a little higher. Yes. Yeah, way easier that way. I kind of make the color in my paintbrush and then I go decorate where it be trickier. Otherwise, I have this scratchy line across the top of his nose. Look at the butt. And then, what's in my paintbrush now? Like this baby, baby caramel. Can I just do a row lower and let help it run out? So, everybody pause and look. I gotta see it's in my paintbrush, but I go another row lower. Now it's darker. And another row lower than that, and it's darker because I'm running out. And a row lower. <gasps> Bright, medium, dark. Uh-oh, everybody pause. What is this? It came to a stop on his forehead. Dumb. So I go, oh, let me push this white deeper into his forehead and help it disappear. Uh-oh, I have to keep going? What? I'm going to have to paint over some of my red. Calm down. Okay. I had to push it all the way back onto his forehead and so it would blend away, right? Like, all the way back, look at that. Noise. Who thinks that was easier than before? Ha okay, so who was frustrated and confused at first when we started and you're like, what? What is she, I don't get it, what? Okay, and now you're going, oh, I understand it. I, I understand it. Well, guess what? It's gonna get even easier to where you're bored. Watch this, okay. So now I have the, the face all the way underneath the nose. This is a big area. Just get a blob of paint and shove it around. Just outline it and, you know, it's, I'll show you. So we go, stab with the caramel. Look, it's this whole piece. Everybody pause. It's under the eye, along the triangle, whatever. And then this, what is the, what? It's the face. Little, 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 little. Who's getting really confident with how much paint you get and you just shove it around, right? You just get paint, move it around because the decorating happens after we get it all soft and wet the white with the car color, right? So I go, okay, outlined it. There's the thing. And who already knows how to outline without going outside the lines? I don't know. One hair of the paintbrush, you just smash your paintbrush and push and one hair outlines it right under the eye. And I didn't even remind you of that. And you did it perfectly. You know why? Because you have an excellent brain for learning by doing. So when the teacher tells you how to do math, are you actually learning math? No. When do you learn the math? When you do it. You just wah, 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 a bunch of teacher talking. No. It's when you get, when they finally stop talking and let you do it, your brain goes, oh, I get it. I get it. Now I know what they were talking about, but they have to like give you a chance to do it, right? Okay, now let's fill it all in their face. Oh, that's not enough. More paint, more caramel. Like that. Who cares? I'm gonna go back and smooth it. And look where I went. You know that little weird Nike swish? Right here, hello, hello, hello. I went right along the Nike swish. This is his face. Oh, I can go next to it. Okay, now that I got, look at the terrible scribbles. Look at, it left marks. Ugh, ugh. So now, 
that it's wet. Now I can go back and smooth it. Super soft for its texture. Super, oh, look at it change the texture. Pretty, 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 pretty. I say that to my dog. You're so pretty, pretty, pretty. Like that. Okay. You know what? I still see the stripes. I'm going to do it again. Look at my stripes. I don't like that. I'm going to try again. Maybe, because look at I made them perfect. Like, like they stand up like, like logs. I don't know. I'm going to go back and kind of be more fuzzy about it. Oh. Okay, this texture is better. Okay. Using the side of my, this texture reminds me more of fur. Okay, the stripes, no. Okay, there. How come um, your face looks lighter than the forehead? Because the forehead is dry and he's, he's dark already. Okay, now I have to do the little, this little shadow. The little triangle from the eye to the nose, this triangle thing. But it's really just a, a, the same exact way that we made this little forehead, a little swipey thing. Right? So I'm going to get, I'm going to get um, my, just a dirty paintbrush. And get a poke of red, poke, and then uh, I, this is what I always do. I do it red, and then I put some caramel on top of it because the red looks a little aggressive. It's like okay, bright red, so I calm it down with a little bit of caramel. Like, calm down. okay, so everybody pause and look up. I just go, I'm gonna, you know, where it's thickest is where you first land, so I'm gonna land. And then push up towards her eye so it's less paint near her eye. Does that make sense? Because where you land first is where the paint is thickest, right? And then look at all this paint left on my paintbrush. I do not need all that. Okay. I'm going to clean my paintbrush. Calm down, red. There. Now I'm going to scribble it around inside my triangle. And I just go push it around. What if I touch the edges? So... Remember the original? That looks good, right? But it looks like a dumb triangle. Now let's look at the original. Hey, 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 hey. It's the blurry edge that makes it more interesting. Right? Like the blurry edge on the ear. Okay, so we just put red. Like, oh, nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's a, it's a red triangle. Well, let's make it into a 3D painting and let's let our red disappear inside the caramel and turn to mist, right? Rough at edges. So I go, all right, do I need more on my paintbrush? No, just touching the edge of the right, the edge of the red and mix it into the caramel. And I just go, and then another row further away. And it's blurrier and drier and blurrier and drier. And then I ran out. You can still see my line because I had to use a Sharpie, remember? You won't see your line. My, I don't like seeing my line right there. No good. Okay, once I blur the top, now let's try to blur the bottom of it. And I, I, I like it red in the middle. Don't touch that. So we're just trying to, like, put red in the caramel, caramel in the red, red in the caramel. And I'm making, like, oh, wait, one, maybe I should go one more. Look at the uh, perfectly straight line right there. <clears throat> No, one more. I'm going to go one more row further away so I can make mist. Reddish mist. Nice. Okay, running out of paint, paint, right? Then underneath, underneath, it looks like he has a bloody nose. No, we're going to make that into a blurry red, blurry red. So the magic of painting is literally running out of paint inside of another color. Who feels like their red is way too red right now? Who is very irritated at their red? Who would like to put some caramel on it and tell it to calm down? Watch this. I get my caramel. Stab. I don't care. I don't care. Watch. You can lighten and you can darken. Watch. Ew. I don't even love mine. I have way too much red. So I go, whoosh. I put caramel on it. What should I do? Just leave it? No. I. Oh. Oh, look at how it makes the red. What? That's nice. And I'm doing it very soft, right? Oh, that's nice. All right, all right. I just a little scribble. It calmed down my red. I like it. I like it. Hmm. Hmm. 
interesting. But I, I like yours better because you don't have lines of your triangle showing because I my Sharpie shows through. I already said that once, but I, I'm complaining out loud again. So how do I, is it a real triangle? It's not a triangle. Please just clean your paintbrush or use your finger and blur this edge until it's invisible. Blurry, blurry, blurry edge. It's not a real triangle. Okay. Clean my paintbrush. Okay, Miss Mary's room. I can't see any, any students. Can you point it like so I can see, see the students? I know it's frozen. Oh, can you see me? Yes, we can see you. Okay, then never mind. Ignore me. Okay. Sorry. No worries. Okay, now let's do, let's do what? Let's do, well, if we can do this dirty little number with the red, with the blurry edge, what if we do this blick, but look at his whole cheek. It's all gonna be caramel. Oh, 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 right? It's all caramel with some dirty blick that goes up, I do a row of black, and then less black, less black, less black, and then I just use my finger and make misty, but it is like a triangle again. It's a shadow, okay. So we have to go under his jaw a little bit, right? So I get my caramel stub and I go, okay. So it's underneath this Nike swish down here. That's it. Yeah. Oh, look at there's all over my paint. My handle is dirty. I hope it's sliming me. I must've laid it down in the paint. Okay, there. Okay, so what? why are we getting this wet right here now? Because we need just a little bit of black. Who knows how aggressive black is? In fact, I'm just going to paint it in caramel the whole way. Why? Because I need to calm down black. So I'm going to go, okay. All right. But I can still kind of see my pencil. It starts off a little bit black here, and it's going to go up his face. And it goes from big. To little, 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 and then it turns to mist. How much black do you think you need? Who saw how aggressive black is when you tried to do your black background? I know. Calm down, black. So, a little bit, a little bit. All right. So, here's my black. I'm just, how much black? A speck, a tiny little speck. So, I'm just going to. Okay, that's all. Okay, and watch me. Everybody watch, pause. I'm gonna put it right here, um, put the bottom of a zip right there. So it's just like a little bit, oh, oh, is this is the Nike swish, right? So I just go, get it off your paintbrush, Hit. okay. And then everybody pause and watch me do it one time, okay? And by the time I'm, I have to use my fingers so I can blur the edges, but, Watch, I'm gonna do it in like stacks. So I go, okay, this is very black. Watch, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a row higher. I'm running out of black already. And then a row higher, it's disappearing. And then a row higher, and then a row higher, and then a row higher, and I went up the side of his cheek, and it became a, oh, that's terrible. You know why? The texture is dumb. So could I just use my finger and do it one more time? Oh, that's a bit, oh. That's a way better texture. It makes the edges very blurry. Blurry, blurry. B okay. Dark, medium, light, lighter. I want to do it one more time. I feel like it's not, um, I wish mine, I, I'm watching you guys paint. I like yours being blacker. Okay, I'm going to get a speck more. I'm going to try it one more time. If yours is black, don't do it. Okay, I want mine, because I want it literally to go to black to invisible. Okay. Okay, black. Blah! Okay, there's the black I said. I want to clean my paintbrush. I feel like that's enough. Okay, I just wiped my paint. Okay, now I'm going to go higher. 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 Running out of paint. Oh, this is way more bold. Now I'm going to do it with my finger. Because I like the, oh, blurry edge. Very disappearing, misty. Mi oh, wait. Okay, okay, I like that better. Because it's higher contrast. It's darker. Okay, love. <laughs> clean my paint.
paintbrush off. Give it a really hard pinch. Because there's black on my paintbrush and I don't want that in there. Ah! Okay. Clean. And now I'm going to get more caramel. Because, um, with my clean paintbrush. Because I don't, I didn't do a good job right here. Look at. It's supposed to be his, behind his, um, I'm going to get that. Make that more, um. There. Okay. Uh oh. I'm gonna touch I'm gonna use my finger. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do his upper lip. So we're just gonna get a little tiny bit of caramel and do his upper lip. So what do I always do if I don't want to go outside the lines? I need to outline. So I'm going to land, and okay, I don't want to lose the shape of his nose. So I'm going to land in the upper lip, right? And I land and sneak up and go, oh, one hair, oh, one hair, oh, on top of the lip. Okay, there. Once I have a good outline, I'm comfortable. I just fill it in caramel. You want to see what I did? I just outlined under his nose, smush, and snuck up, Beep. and then outlined it with the one hair, and then on top of his lip, right, up to the black thingy, and then up, down, uh, and I can even smooth it with my finger. But look at mine. What does my upper lip have? Oh, it's white. It's very white. And then I go less white, less white, running out of white, running out of white, all gone, disappear. Okay, so you ready? So I get a poke of white, mm, a little bit. So I just get a small amount of, of white, because I would like to remember when we did the top of his nose. So I just go poke, just some, shum. And I'm gonna put, put it near his front of his lip without touching it, because remember how we can sneak up to it? So I drop it off like this and I just go, Oh, it got close, but I didn't touch it. Now I'm going to smoosh it in. Okay, now I can get closer and closer and closer. Oh, there. Okay, now I'm going to try it. Everybody pause and look up. Watch me do this because you're probably doing something now. So watch me and then you go back. Okay, so I made my, my light caramel, right? And then I go up, down, up, down, running out from the lip to the top, from the lip to the top. From the lip. I'm running out, I'm running out, I'm running out on purpose. I'm running out, I ran out. So it's bright in the front of his lip, and I ran out. But look at where it touches his, the red up here. I don't like this. I'm going to blur this with my finger. There. Calm down, you. There. Blur. So it's very white. And then the farther you go back along his lip, it's less, less, less. But then right there at the top of this weird shape we just went, let's make a little blur, blur, blur. So that when, when a paint color stops, we just blur it when it stops. So it doesn't come to a sudden like, <laughs> no, we just blur. Right. Oh, what about the bottom lip? It's way more white. And do you know where we're going to get this caramel paint color from that's inside it? Oh, and I let's look at the hair fell out. I don't care. It's all, it can be, the hair can be in front, right? But the color, that caramel color actually comes from my dirty little paintbrush. I know. I don't need any more caramel. So I just stab my, stab my white stab and go, all right. And I'm going to do the, okay, cause, oh wait, I have to outline the lip. I forgot. Cause. I will forget where the lip goes. Smash. See? Look where the... Oh, the caramel comes from my dirty paintbrush. And then and then right here in the back, I'm just going to use my finger and tell it to blend in with the neck. Because his chin is a lot more white than his mustache. Who feels good about that? I know. Okay, so, okay, check for 3D. 
Do you have dark areas of every color? How about your caramel? Do you have dark areas, medium areas, light areas? Yes. You know what I just noticed? You know what I don't like? Look at my ear. The very first thing I did, did I do a very good job blending that white in? No. But right now there's some caramely white in my, I'm going to go fix his ear. But I only, oh, I should put some caramel on that. I'm redoing this ear because now that I understand it, I could do this way better. Right? Because like, well, when I first did the ear, I didn't know what I was doing, lady. I know. Because it was your very first one. Because we're frustrated and confused. Then we understand it. Then it's easy. Okay. Okay. Now we get to do blick. But we have to clean our paintbrush. And we're going to try to make this paintbrush into an itty bitty teeny tiny beady 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 paintbrush. So we make it into a point. Which means we're not going to smash our paintbrush and put pressure on it. You know when you write with a pencil and you have to push hard to scratch the graphite onto the paper. So you're pushing hard. Don't push hard. Let your paintbrush just soft. Or your paintbrush will get huge really fast. Okay. Because that's what paintbrushes are designed to do. They're designed to go, whoa, and we don't want that. So we're going to put the black in the ear, the eye, and the nose. And as soon as your paintbrush starts to open, just clean it again or make her pointy like the, oh, I almost dropped my red paint. I, as soon as it starts to open, just make her pointy like that. And then she'll go small again. So I get the red and I just, or the black and I go poke. And how do I outline again? I'm going to outline my ear so everybody pause and look up. I smash my paintbrush. And then I sneak up and let one hair touch. The, you keep my paintbrush inside the ear and let one hair sneak out. Oh my God. This is awkward because I'm doing it from the side. I'm not right in front of my painting. You guys will have an easier time of this. I'm trying to do it so you can see. And then from above it, one hair. Then once I have a good outline, how easy is this to fill in? Easy. As if. It's all about the perfect outline. I smash inside the ear and go boop. And let one hair do the outline. How about the eye? Same. Uh oh, my paintbrush opened a little. I need to clean it and make a pointier again. There, okay. And then I get my blick. And I don't need very much blick for the eye, right? So I'm going to get a spick. Just pick. Hmm. Oh, that's way too much. I'm going to start over. What was I thinking? I try because I can't really see because it's just blick. Okay, let me touch the side. Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay, and then I land inside her eye. Watch me. Everybody pause and look up. So I smash in the eye. Now I can sneak up. Let one hair from inside the eye touch the Sharpie. And then down, and then from above, I let one hair there, and then smoosh it in. Once you have your outline, easy schmeasy. And then how about his nose? This is important. It is a tiny little triangle thing, but this thing is important. This is a cat nose. And then they're able to, you know, cats and dogs are able to close their own nostrils like that. I know. So we need that little flap or it doesn't look like a cat nose. Where did my black go? Oh, and I go, pook. So how do I outline something that I don't ruin the shape? So I'm going to land inside his nose, smash. And then I sneak up to the top and I let one hair touch the sherby. And from inside, and now I can sneak forward. And then from, uh oh. I have to push down now. What the heck? Okay, push down. Okay, there. And then that little tiny little blobby thing on the corner. Alrighty. It's starting to look like a lion, huh? Do you know what it was before it had eyes and stuff? An abstract. Now you're like, oh my god, it looks like a lion. Okay. And you did his nose. Okay. okay, now mouth. Let me show you. It's one skinny string for the mouth. Do not scribble. It'll, his mouth will look like this. No. And why do they close their mouth like this? That is literally how cats look. 
like kind of mad, right? I don't, I don't know if you have a cat. So I'm going to literally make this line in one straight line. Do not pick up my paintbrush. I'll run out of paint. At halfway, I'm going to run out of paint. Well, I could do it one more time, but I try to keep my paintbrush very small. So I touch my blick. Okay, watch me do it. Everybody pause and watch. Okay, so I go, okay, and I'm going to push backwards. So I land on the front of his lips and push. I didn't run out of paint. Oh, wait, one more time. P push. Done. Because every time I do it, his mouth gets bigger. That black line gets bigger every time I touch it. So I'm trying to be very tiny. And then be done. So who feels good about it so far? Remember when you started and you saw your painting and you were like, oh yeah, right lady. Like, like I could paint this. And then you do it and you're like, oh. So what's the trick about paint? Is the color, the shape, and the texture. The shape already drew it. So no credit for that. So, but the texture, who got good at texturizing, right? Texture. And then shadowing blurry edges you give every color a chance to be dark medium and invisible disappearing right okay so now we're going to do the the um the main but look at your bangs no not your bang what are these things uh i guess it's just bangs right i don't like mine i can see through mine but guess what that was just practice for your understanding now look at your colors does anyone have interesting stripes that they like? We're going to do it again. We're going to paint right on top of this. Okay. We're going to protect our ears. We don't have to get close to the ears. But we're going to put those strings of color in it and try it one more time. But now we will have understood how when you put a color and you put a color on top, she's just a little really soft decoration on top. Whoop like that we do not rub it in and make a new color we want stripes watch i put the i put the caramel and then i put the brown on the caramel and then i put the red and then i put the brown and the red and then I, and all the colors are i don't clean my paintbrush because that color mixes with that color which mixes with that and i like these stripes but what happens if i scribble will i have cool stripes no <laughs> i'll have a brown mess i like the stripes okay so let's do the hair one more time and like now you'll be like oh i get it okay so where's big paintbrush my okay oh, hey, it's filthy i need a new paper towel mine's dirty i don't like it new paper towel please okay so i just clean it off and give it a nice hard pinch and i want her pointy again hello because i'm gonna make hair right ma'am no, okay so who remembered how to do it? Caramel with some decorations in it. Freak, freak. And then the brown and the and the rusty kind of stripe. But don't mix it in. I just want little little highlights, you know, like when you go get, your, you know, fa those fancy highlights people get. It's too expensive for me, but you know. So I get the caramel. Go. Oh yeah, because caramel is see-through. So why don't we do it one more time? So I get the caramel poke. And one more time. And the first ones went straight up. And it's already painted. So we're just doing this for decoration. So just go up, 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 up. Oh, there was not enough paint on my paintbrush. Nothing was happening. Okay. Up, up. And then they immediately start to lean backwards, backwards. Oh, doesn't that look better already? Because it's not see-through or transparent. And I go, Leah, let me just redecorate these. And they go in the same direction. Right? Backwards, backwards. And why am I getting them wet with caramel first? So they'll do the stripey thing. Whoosh, whoosh, getting all wet. And then, what color? Want to do a little bit of brown? But just a little bit. A little bit of brown. I'm going to put some little, maybe a little stripe there and a couple stripes there. Little pieces. Right? 
I'm gonna redecorate the whole thing. I just wanna drop off some color and then I get some of the rusty brown. Everybody pause and watch me first. Cause if you're trying to like do it while I'm talking, impossible. So just watch with your eyes and then your brain will go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then some rusty color. Ooh, it's a good color. Maybe just a few pieces, okay. Now I'm gonna get some caramel and restring it, watch. Now I'm gonna scratch at it and I'd only touch it once when I decorate. How come? Uh, they will just make brown, watch. Straight up, ooh, straight up, ooh. Whoosh, whoosh. But the texture matters. Now I'm going backwards like I'm combing his hair and I just grab the, whoosh. And I'm repainting the whole thing. And I may or may not hit a color. I redecorated his whole his whole bangs. And I might have put some more color, might not. I just decorated it. Now you do it. And then I, 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 I touched the whole thing. I didn't stop. I went down, 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 like that. But if there was a blob of paint, I would have hit it. It was an accident. I'm not only painting the places that I put blobs. Okay, now who's ready to do the main? Because that was kind of easy. You already done it once before, so your brain's like, yeah, I got it. Okay, now we're gonna do the main, but watch, it goes like this. It touches the back of your ear and goes, whee, right? Then we go parallel to that and one row lower, whee. And then we go parallel to that and, oh, then it starts to turn into this weird S. Now I'm on her cheek, poof. Then I'm on her cheek again, then I'm on cheek again, and now I'm going along her whole face, okay? And each time we're gonna try to get different colors and be fun. But I wish I would have went back with a little bit of caramel and blurred out this landing pad. But whatever. Okay, so we'll just let's just stab the caramel. Stab! And you have to get a lot of paint. Cause we have far to go. So why everybody watch? I'm gonna, and I don't want I wanna be on top of this outline that I did because ugly. Look how ratty it is. So I just go, ooh, I touch the back of her head and I go, whee! Smush. Oh, that's, I need way more. More caramel. Wait, look how far it is. I had to get two scoops of caramel. Whew, smash your paintbrush really good. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Well, let's get a little bit of white. Boop. A little, just a little bit. A little bit. Okay, that's too much. And I'm just going to streak it. Whee! And I put little stripes. Look at the stripes that showed up. Should I do it one more time? No! Those stripes are wicked cool. Oh, look at the white in my paintbrush. I'm gonna go a little higher and put some in my bangs. Nice. All right. <laughs> okay, now, and now I'm gonna get brown. So I'm gonna stab the brown and I stab it. How come? This is humongous. I need a lot of paint. So I stab the brown. Stab! Get a lot. And I'm gonna be on top of the caramel. And I land on the caramel and go, oh, okay. Oh, look at me run out of paint. Did you see me get how much paint I got? And I still ran out. Smash it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Oh my gosh. It's taking forever. Smash. Pull it down. Okay, there. I made it to the bottom. I want one big, I'm not scribbling. I'm pulling a big, long main stripe. Oh, the bottom. You have to go past, right? Oh, yeah. I almost didn't. Click, click. His hair is on top of the background on the bottom. Okay, well, that's just brown. Can I put a little white on it? So I can poke a tiny bit of white and go, whoosh. Oh, look at the stripes. Whoa, okay, stop. Okay, stop. I got stripes. I, I, I don't, I want stripes. If I keep doing it, I'm going to lose my stripes. I like that. That's cool. But what happens if I keep touching it like this? What do I get then? Uh, chocolate milk? I don't want chocolate milk. I want these cool stripe textures. Okay, after the, 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 um, the brown is red. Stab your red. What? I'm going to get a lot because I've been running out every time, but you do touch the brown, touch the brown, and it'll make brownish red. So I'll go, I touch his cheek and I go, whee, oh, see? 
and there's paint on the other side of your paintbrush. Smash, smash, smash. Okay, I did it. Smash. Oh, and I got to hang down over the bottom. Smash. Wow, that just looks like a red stripe. I don't like it. It's boring. Well, let's put that rusty brown on it. Let's decorate it with rusty brown. You want to see? Watch this. Okay, dirty red paintbrush in the rusty brown. Stop! Let's decorate the red. Let's see. Just see what happens. But this is the decorating part. Remember how you get it wet first? And then you decorate. And then you stop. So that was, this is my red decoration. Now watch. Here I'm, I mean, I'm going to get it all wet with, with one color. And then I decorate. Watch. Oh, cool. I put stripes of this uh, rusty brown on it. Ram. Ooh, I put some rusty brown in my white too. Oh, look what I did. My paintbrush was dirty and I went into the other color I already did. Oh, it dropped off some color a little higher. Because it was in my paintbrush. What? Less streaky. Okay, so maybe just Rusty Brown by herself. But I keep going every time I'm down her chin, right? So I go, so get the Rusty Brown. I'm just going to stab it. And I go, okay, touch your cheek. And I'm overlapping on top of the red. And I touch your cheek and go, wee Okay, smash it, smash it, smash it. Oh, I, I don't want that white to show. Let me get up higher. Get it, get it, okay. There's no white. I could get a little caramel at the end and fix the edge of his cheek right here. All these ugly scribbles, we can fix it. Okay, well, Rusty Red by himself, that is the most boring thing I ever saw. I'm gonna put white on it. But just a tiny, tiny bit. Watch me, this is a deck. I got it wet with the Rusty Brown. Now I'm gonna decorate it, watch this. Woo! And then, once I have cool stripes, stop! Because if I keep touching it, it's just going to be, it's not going to be cute. I only touched it three times. Okay, now let's, now let's get just dirty paintbrush and everything. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to get brown. Stab my brown! And do a brown row. But look, now it's kind of becoming like an S. So I go, and I go, oh, woo! Oh, woo! It has a little lump at the bottom as it comes closer to her chest. It goes, woo, woo. Let's put a little black in this one. A little shadow. Wait, how much black then? To decorate. Huh? So aggressive. I just put a little bit. A little bit. So it's got a tiny, tiny bit of black. Where, where did, oh, my black was over here. Pan. All right, so what do you see I'm doing? I'm just, get it wet with one color, and it's a big smash, like two fingers big. Then I choose a color to decorate it. Oh, I better pick that up and draw. Okay, I just put in stripes, stripes of black. Okay, stop. Right there. Okay, then don't do any more. Okay, next color. I don't know, how about a red again? I don't know. Okay, now I'm closer to her face. Smash. Ooh. Oh, there's black in my paintbrush. Well, that's no good. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put rusty brown on that. Whoosh. Ooh. And then a little bit of white. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh! It's the strings. Should I touch it more and make white disappear? No. Okay, now I'm gonna get now I'm gonna get a just a caramel. But with my dirty paintbrush, now I can go along her face. Ew, my, cause the, cause I had a color in my paintbrush already. The caramel made pretty stripes. I'm gonna put a little bit of white in it though. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny speck. Oh, that's too much. Oops. Okay, then everybody pause. Find your, your little paintbrush. Everybody pause. Yeah, I know you're gonna keep decorating. But watch me, everybody pause. So this edge right here, where I landed with all my landings of making my, it's all rough. I need some caramel. So I get my caramel and I just would like to calm this down a little bit. Goodbye.
there and just use my finger until it's a blur there so her face it doesn't have weird um circles where the paintbrush landed a little bit okay there now did oh look what my paintbrush did i was holding my paintbrush and just ruined my beautiful stripes what happens if i touch my stripes again to fix it i'm gonna ruin it Okay, I'll do it soft, 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 soft. All right, it's all right, I guess. And when this dries, all those colors will be a different color than when they went on. So we get it super thick wet with one color, whoosh, then we stripe it with a different color. And then we go, oh, well how many color values do I need for 3D? Do I have dark areas? Do I have dark strings? Do I have medium strings? Do I have little white strings? All of them are good. But what happens if I keep rubbing them? What color will they become then? All brown. Good job, you guys.